Hi everybody, thanks for watching. My name is Farushka. In this tutorial I'm going to do a Deborah Harry inspired makeup. I love Deborah Harry. She's one of my all time favorite style icons. She's so confident and so unbelievably sexy. So I thought, what better makeup to do? As you can see, it's a lot of heavy silvers and contour and shimmer. This look is synonymous with Deborah Harry in the late 70s, early 80s. Start with a clean face. I've got nothing on except for my Illamasqua Hydra Veil. Now I'm going to use my Illamasqua Skin Base Foundation. I'm going to pop a little bit of that on my fingers and I'm going to pop that all over my eyes and my brow bone to prep my eyelids for the eye makeup. Now I'll swirl some translucent powder over everywhere that I just put my foundation. So I'll be using Masquerade Film Clear and I'm using an Eco Tools Kabuki brush to pop that on with. So I've just got a bit of powder on the edge there and pop that everywhere where you had just applied your foundation just to set it a little bit. If you need to, now's the time to define your eyebrows. So just get started on that and fill in anywhere that your eyebrows need a little bit of extra definition. It doesn't have to be a bold brow. This isn't a statement brow. This is just to make your face look neat and framed. After you've defined your eyebrows, just pick up a normal blending brush. I'm using an Illamasqua blending brush and I'm coming back in with my film clear here. I'm going to put this all over my eye once again just to neaten up underneath the eyebrow and this will also create the perfect base for blending out blondie inspired eyes. Because this look is late 70s early 80s we're going to be using a lot of shimmery metallic products so what I'm going to start with is Illamasqua's four color liquid metal palette as you can see here, and I'm going to be coming in and using the silver colour, which is Electrum in the corner. I'm going to be using an Eco Tools small concealer brush. As you can see, it's nice and firm. I've just got a bit of Electrum on the tip there, so I'm just going to pick some of that product up, and we're going to place that all over our eyelid. So this is a fantastic product, and as you can see, it's very high shine. You can bring this right up onto your brow bone, just underneath. Just bring it out a bit, blend it out a little bit. After you've applied that liquid metal palette all over your eyes, I'm going to come in, I've gotten this palette from a trade show, I'll pop a link below where you can get almost identical products. This is a silver powder, so I'm going to be picking that up with the same brush. And I'm going to place that on top of what we just did. That'll just help give this silver a little bit more staying powder because it is a cream eyeshadow and cream eyeshadows tend to crease no matter how good they are. So just place that all over the top. After you've applied that silver all over your eyes, now we're going to start to define the crease because Deborah Harry always had a very beautiful almost cut crease and it really winged out at the side. So we're going to use... I'm going to use this as another palette. Links will be below. Um, this is a dark grey. It's not shimmery and that's not really true to Blondie's look because she would have had a lot of shimmer. But what we're going to do is place this on top of what we've already got. The liquid metal palette's going to melt through this eyeshadow and make it appear shimmery. And we're going to apply some shimmer on top. So I've picked up the product on the end of my Illamasqua blending brush here and I'll zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. I've got the product on the end of my blending brush and I'm going to start to define the crease of my eye. I'm not going to bring it all the way across. I want most of the product to be on this outer edge here. I'm not getting the effect I want so I'm going to come in with a smaller um, eyeshadow brush. It's on branded and I'm going to place the product in. That'll be better. And then I'll blend it out with the blending brush. Really wing it out to the side and make a V. We're going to put another darker colour on top of this. This is just a transitional colour. You can see how the liquid palette has really made the grey that I just put on um, metallic. It's melted right through and it doesn't look matte at all. Now I'm going to come in with a masquerade black eyeshadow. It's got a little bit of shimmer in it. And this is where we're really going to define um, the V here and make it very winged and very dramatic. So I'll zoom in so you can see. I'm going to be using a small tapered Eco Tools. Oh, I wonder if you can see that. There we go. Small tapered Eco Tools brush to define the V of my eye. So I'll just pick up some of this black product. So Blondie really had a very defined V. So we'll do that bit first. And it was very dramatic. It came right out. So we'll wing it right out and then we'll blend it afterwards. Okay. 
Blondie's eyes also really blend it out into a nice point so make sure that you make it nice and sharp at the end there. And now I'll just blend this all together. Just really clean up underneath your eye here to make sure that you have that lovely cat's eye, lovely flick. So as you can see I've blended it right out, I've got a very dramatic V. Once you've done that I'm going to be using a Masquerade Shimmer White Loose Eyeshadow Powder and I'm going to be applying it with the same brush that I used to apply the liquid metals and just tap, press this into the inner V and up on to the silver part of your eye just to give it a little bit of added light. Once you've done that, apply your foundation. So I'll be coming back in with my Illamasqua Skin Base Foundation. I'll apply it where I need it. Make sure that you've cleaned up under your eyes of any grey so that you don't mix your foundation with the grey and get a lovely zombie-like complexion. And then once you've done that, I'm going to be blush... <laughs> Beautiful. I am going to be buffing my makeup in with an Eco Tools buffing brush. After you've applied your foundation, Come in with a highlighter, a cream highlighter like the um, Gleam Cream by Illamasqua. The colors are Aurora. I'll be applying it with an Eco Tools buffing brush. I'm doing this because the the blondie that I love, she um she always had very glowing, radiant, dewy skin. It's very 70s to have a lot of highlighter and a lot of sort of shimmery, beautiful, dewy radiance. So let's get on to that. On the high points of your face, such as your cheekbone, down your nose just in your temple here and really buff that in. After you've highlighted I'm going to come in with my Masquerade Film Clear and just swirl that over my face. You don't want to have a matte finish when you're trying to achieve a Blondie inspired makeup because she always had glowing creamy skin. So just pop this over. After you've applied your powder I'll be using an Illamasqua um, Empower palette. I'm going to be using the colour Slick, it's another liquid metal in the corner here. I'm going to work it into my lower lash line using a small eyeshadow brush. So I just pick up a bit of the product on the end of the brush and work that into the lower lash line because Blondie had a very smoky eye. And I've chosen this product because it's not as harsh as a black um, and it's very easy to blend. After you've applied the colour to the lower lash line, come in with a blending brush and I've just got it clear there's nothing on it I'm just going to use it under my eyes and around the edge of my eye just to blend it out a little bit we do want it to be very dramatic and quite sharp but we don't want it to be just a harsh line so just blend that a little bit out once you've blended it out I'm going to be using an NYX brow pencil in black or eyeliner pencil in black you're going to line the water rim of your eye and you're also going to line underneath your lash line or you can do it on top if you're not comfortable doing underneath but you've got to line your entire eye and make it a very feline point in the corner here. So come right in nice and thin in the corner and make sure you make that area nice and dark. Because Blondie always had very feline shaped eyes. You can see I've really worked the coal into my lower lash line and into my top lash line. I've brought it in nice at the corner here. So don't be afraid to get right in underneath your lashes and work the pencil into underneath your top lash line. That's going to give you a really perfect dark smoky eye. Once you've lined your eyes, come in with a really thick mascara. I'll be using Illamasqua's mascara in Raven and just put a ton of it on your top and bottom lashes. Go for it. After you've applied a megalithic amount of mascara, come in with a contour. So I'll be using Illamasqua's Disobey and I'll be applying that with an angled powder brush. Blondie always had very chiseled cheekbones so that's what we're going to recreate so I've already done a tutorial on contouring so click the link if you'd like to watch it but really chisel your cheekbones nice and high just like Blondie. Once you've applied your contour we're going to apply some blush so I'll be using Masquerade's blush in BS18 it's a peachy gold this is very Blondie because she used to wear quite a lovely luminescent blush and also a very 70s way of applying blush is to make sure you sort of sweep it down in a three sort of shape on the side of your face. So apply it to your cheeks but bring it right up to your temple and onto your forehead a little bit. That's what she used to do. After blush we'll highlight just quickly. I'm using Masquerade's Luminizing Loose Powder in Moon and I'm going to apply it with a fan, an Ecotools fan brush. So pick up a little bit of highlighter 
on the edge of your fan brush and we're going to highlight just the cheek area here because that's going to really lift um, the dark color. See how we've got a dark color on our eyes? We don't want to look sallow underneath our eyes. So we'll just apply that there. We can apply a little bit down the center of our nose and also once again tops of the cheekbones we really want to have a nice glow because 70s was very glowy and radiant but we won't be applying glitter because we can never get glitter off Blondie used to wear a really nice soft pink for her lipstick so I'm going to line my lips with NYX's pencil in rose and then I'm going to come in over the top with Illamasqua's lipstick in plunge but I'm going to press this in with my fingers to make it softer and not so bright Thanks for watching. That was my Deborah Harry inspired makeup tutorial. Subscribe if you enjoyed this and I will see you at the next one. Bye.